sheet that you're doing in August with men, younger and older men, yes. what happens there? <laughs> um, it's like a six-day retreat, and um, typically about 100, we call it 100, it could be 90 or 105, we don't know, we call it 100. Um, younger and older guys, it's the one event we do pretty much each year that's, that's four guys, and there's reasons for that, it's not anything against women at all. <laughs> I mean, mean it, and there's never anything that I, I've seen done there against women, or I have allowed to happen there against women. It's actually the wives and the mothers and the daughters and the sisters and the girlfriends all usually say afterwards, can I send him back? <laughs> <laughs> um, and it's slightly based on the old initiatory camps in Africa, in a sense. But uh, to give you a quick idea, um, it starts fairly early in the morning. I don't know what that would be, 7 o'clock or 6.45 or something like that, where there's a wake-up call typically done by a combination jazz and ecstatic Middle Eastern orchestra group um, that walks around the camp playing music in the dark. Uh, it's a nice thing. And then if you want to get up, you have your choice of uh, meditation, typically chanting, martial arts, or dream work. And you go off and do those before breakfast. Then we have breakfast. And after breakfast, everybody gets together. We have traditionally, for many years, an uh, amazing collection of drummers and, and people that play instruments. So the morning actually starts with uh, spontaneous or somewhat inspired uh, music by various people, including the people who teach music and dance at the camp. And that gets everybody into the room. We work in a big old log. We're in the midst of a big... A redwood forest and then once everybody's in like that then I usually begin telling a story I typically tell stories that go on for the whole five days and then after I tell a part of the story we begin to work on it each person talks about what struck them we see how that relates to their life so their life stories are coming out the room is beginning to fill up with stories we have only a few rules one is no physical violence we ask everybody to agree with that and then the other one is tell the truth if you can and after a while, people get used to saying, well, come on, I don't think you, you said, said what you actually came here to say. And people begin to help each other get it out. And then since in the room, we have everything from 15, 16-year-old active gangbangers to judges, um, everything from um, illegal aliens to uh, professors, um, all these stories come out. And the most amazing things come out of people, and people 50 years old who never, never let anybody know what their story is, bring it out. It all pours out. The room gets to be like, you know, like a lake full of stories. And then in the meantime, in the afternoon, in order to change the rhythm, people go and learn African dance or they write poetry and there's all kinds of things with a faculty that's inspired and so on like that. And that gets us around to the evening. The evening is usually a big community event where it's hard to explain, but anyway, more heartache and shit comes out. <laughs> <laughs> and now we're into the late night and we end each night with some kind of ritual which we form based on what's happening during the day. So it may be a simple thing where everybody bows to each other while people play music and everybody just keeps going around bowing to each other. If we've had a lot of conflict, like racial issues and all, then I ask everybody to go and bow. And I tell them, if you, if you can't bow to that person you, and you have a problem, tonight you have to settle it. You have to talk to them. And so we might do something like that. Um, anyway, you get the idea? And we get up the next day and we do it again and we do it again. And, uh, and we've been doing it there for 25 or more years in a row. And so the forest already knows us. And, and we have done some of the most amazing things in that forest. And we do all of it together. The faculty sits on the bench all the time together. There's no, you may have a chance to speak and do a presentation, but you're sitting all together. We're all in the room, all together, all the time. And I don't know what you call that, but it's really wild and it's, tends to be very healing and surprisingly creative.